Hey there, it's Ashley. I hope you are having an amazing day. So I got a message on Instagram asking what my journey into the fitness industry has been because there's a lot of videos of working out and exercise, but how did this even start? So really quickly, I wanted to do this video to share a little bit of my transformation story with you, hopefully to help you connect and relate and inspire you. My journey is a little bit different in that it wasn't this huge, weight loss journey it was much more of an internal body confidence journey that i went through and it started when i was 16 years old so i was always very athletic i had a great childhood growing up i grew up as the only girl i have an older brother and a younger brother and i was really close with my dad so i was very active in sports i was a very good athlete i was a strong athlete and i developed a little bit of the tomboy persona of just being one of the guys which is great Except, what was happening is right around those formative years, I started to struggle with my self-esteem and my body image because I noticed that I wasn't getting the same attention that some of my friends who weren't quite as athletic were getting from boys just in general. So I remember at that time, right when I started to kind of notice this difference, I went to get a sports physical and my doctor had told my mom that my BMI was too high for my height and my age bracket and that she needed to start me on a weight loss program. That in itself played into the low self-esteem and insecurity I already was starting to develop. So at 16, I started going to Weight Watchers meetings and learned the very beginnings of counting calories and diet and exercise. And it was really embarrassing for me. I mean, none of my other friends at 16 were going to weight loss and Weight Watchers journeys and meetings trying to figure out like their body image. But at the same time, I didn't care. I just wanted to be like everybody else. I just wanted to get positive attention for being beautiful instead of being so strong and athletic. So that fast forward went on for a very long time and it ended up turning into a pattern that led to unhealthy relationships and at 19 years old i got married to somebody who was my high school sweetheart but at the exact same time the whole reasoning behind it was just not a good idea i was doing it looking for somebody to give me self-love and acceptance and to tell me i was beautiful and totally codependent and it just ended up being a bad relationship and so about the last year or so in that, I started to get anxiety attacks. I had never had anxiety before in my life. I was struggling with low self-esteem. I was working a nine to five job at a place that I just didn't care for. I was bored. I just felt so lost in life, not knowing who I was, what I was doing, why I was married at 20. But at the same time, like there's gotta be more to life than this. Why do I feel so insecure? I hate having anxiety attacks and panic attacks. And I just felt like I was at rock bottom. So at 21 years old, I experienced a huge turning point for me where I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I was miserable and depressed and anxious all the time. I would come home to an unhappy relationship and I got a divorce. I got a divorce and I quit my job. I walked into my boss about a week later and I said, I can't do this. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I can't do this anymore. And I left my family, I left my friends, and I ended up moving to Virginia where I didn't know anybody and had no plan whatsoever. All I knew was I had to find myself and somehow figure out my own path. All I had at that time was I found a girl on YouTube and on just Google and social media who was doing these videos on workouts and nutrition and she embodied to me what I thought looked like somebody who was confident. She was super strong, but she wasn't bulky. She was happy, she was laughing, she was smiling. Like she just seemed so comfortable in her own skin. So I started to follow her. I bought one of her online programs and I started going to the gym three to five days a week doing these weightlifting programs and I knew nothing. I didn't know anything about weightlifting. All I knew was I liked the way she looked. I liked what she seemed to have going on for herself. And I wanted to give that to myself. I wanted to become more confident and strong and just get my life together. And so what I found was that in doing that, after every workout, I felt a little bit stronger. I felt a little more confident. I still had no idea what I was doing with my life, but I felt like something was starting to shift in me. Like I felt more like myself than I had ever been in my whole life. 
So I then started to do a little bit of mindset processing as well. So paying attention to my thoughts, paying attention to where this negative body image even came from. And I discovered it wasn't even me. It was all these other messages I had gotten from society and upbringing and just natural things that happened to us. So then I started meditating and I started reprogramming my thoughts. And the biggest epiphany I think that I had is I realized that I was underplaying in all areas of my life my workouts, my relationships, my job, the career. And long story short, what ended up happening over the last 10 years is at 21, I made the decision that the personal transformation I was going through and the things I was overcoming of divorce and anxiety and abusive relationships and low self-esteem, I wanted to help other women get their confidence back, start playing big in their own lives and really just go through their own transformation process. Since then, I work out, strength train five, six days a week. I have a very successful business. I finally feel happy and confident and healthy in my own body. And it's been a process that can be overwhelming, but I wanted to share this video and this transformation with you in the hopes that it inspires you or maybe you can share it with somebody who needs a little bit of a motivational kick today. But that was pretty much it. I wanted to respond to the Instagram message that I got. And if this helps you in any way, if I can support you, please leave me a comment or send me a direct message so I can get to know you personally and help you in your own journey. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me be vulnerable and share this with you. And I can't wait to talk to you soon.